evening and welcome to the Whiskey Level Society with me, Gert Retief. And today we are looking at the Glen Goyen 10 year old Scotch whiskey. So, this is a Highland Scotch whiskey bottled at 40% ABV, natural color. And um, at 40% ABV, it is chill filtered. So, a quick look um, on the color. As they do state that it is a um, natural color. So, for 10 years, it is um, quite um, light, nice little golden color. So, on the nose. Sweet floral notes, a little bit of a English toffee, a little bit of sultanas is quite sweet on the nose, a little bit of a Christmas cake, um, so nice um, fruits um, in the Christmas cake, the cherries um, and the sultanas. Quite pleasant. <coughs> a little bit of a honey note. Also, that um, something that maybe from from cherry blossoms um, type of honey, quite light. A little bit of a pineapple note. Also reminds me a little bit of uh, green apples, um, the Granny Smith type of apple, so the freshness of it. A little bit of a vanilla uh, note as well. Also I get a little bit of a, of a chocolate note, um, but not a dark chocolate, maybe a little bit of a... Um, 40 to 50 percent uh, cocoa ratio to it. So um, quite pleasant on the nose, the sweetness is there, something that um, um, light, um, it's not that dark heavy notes that you get in some of the sherry ones, so quite pleasant on the nose. So on the taste, The sweetness is there, <coughs> um, <coughs> also light on the alcohol, so it is 40% ABV, so I am not going to add any water to this one, there is no bite uh, of alcohol on it, present, there is uh, a little bit of oak, but it's barely there. Normally, if you have something that's 10 years old, um, for me, um, it tends to get a little bit of an oaky note to it. It is there, but um, it's, it's a, a slight oaky note, so it doesn't bring out that bad coffee notes or the espresso notes for me. The caramel, the toffee notes are still there to bring out a little bit of a sweetness, um, quite pleasant. A little bit of a citrus note as, uh, uh, as well. Um, uh, so it, it's quite pleasant, a nice balance between the sweet um, the, and a little bit of a savory note for me as, as well. A little bit of a ripe banana. Um, not not very strong, but you can get that hint of banana in the background. Sugar, yeah, the sweetness, sugary, uh, barley sugar is definitely there. And um, every time you go back, um, I'm waiting for that oak to jump out at me. It doesn't happen. So for me, that is quite pleasant. It's a nice sipping whiskey. I think it, um, it it's it's 
quite summery actually. It's not that heavy, oily um, uh, whiskey. So for me, I think that is a perfect summer summer whiskey or summer sipper. I would definitely recommend it uh, for you to try. Um, especially if you don't like the whiskies with the bitter notes. I had some, um, as an example, I think the Macallans also, for me, it can be quite bitter uh, notes in the aftertaste. And I think it all depends on the type of cask that they are using. So this, this one, um, probably ex-bourbon. Um, not a lot of tannins or the bitter, bitter oaky notes in it. Maybe not the first full, maybe a third full cherry uh, ex-bourbon cask. So for me, that is pleasant. Um, I, I don't like the bitter notes. So a score-wise, I will give it a 85 out of 100. It is uh, a nice dram, and I would definitely recommend you to give it a try. And um, maybe you will also find the same notes that I have. So thank you for watching. Have a great evening, and stay safe.